Hey guys, Incogs here. I've done this too many times. <laughs> Alright, but today we're going to be covering file history and how to transfer it, alright? So first, we need to find what files we need to transfer over. So let's open up File Explorer, and we can go to this PC, Local Disk, alright? So this is all that we need to transfer over. There's probably a few ways to do this. Um, you can just go search, then put in file history, even though it's moth week for some reason. Open that up. You can plug in your external hard drive and it will back up all of your stuff like photos and videos. It backs up like half the stuff that you need to. It does take a little bit for its first time around because it's copying over lots upon lots of files. All right, so what since so you've done file history, um, it'll basically be laid out similar to this. So you'll open up file history, then you'll have your username, your device's name, and then configuration and data, open up data, and C, and then you'll have just users. I've added these for um, remembering, so, okay, but basically it'll only be users in this file, which then it would have username and then other files transferred here, all right, it will not have app data, which is actually really important to copy over, so how to find app data on your original drive, you just want to search for run, then put in percent app data percent, as it's shown right down here, click OK, then it will bring up your app data. Well, it'll bring up app data roaming. So you want to go back to app data, and then make a separate folder in here. It can really be wherever you want, as long as you remember where it is. You can take all of this, and then put it into your app data folder. All right. So once you've done that, you want to go back to this PC local disk. All right. And then from here, you want to go back to C. Then you want to copy everything over besides the users into here. All right, so that'd be like program files. If you run Windows, it'll show Windows here, etc., etc. All right, yeah. So you'd put all of those items in here. So once you've done that, you have gotten all of the files that you need. So you can go ahead and um, upgrade your PC, like take it apart, whatnot. I don't suggest clearing the SSD just yet, but you can if you want to, because your files are all now safe on your external hard drive. All right, then once you open up your computer, you'll have a new drive. It'll have stuff like users and whatnot, program files. but it won't have all of your program files. So once you get it, you want to go to this PC and then the local drive. I just have a separate folder for an example. Then you want to go, you want to open your new, not new, you want to open your hard drive and then go from goes to file history, username, device name, data, C, and then you want to copy all the other items besides users over because it might have asked you to set up an, a user on the actual device. So you want to open users on both of these and then just take your username your previous username from your hard drive, copy it over to here, 
in users. And then you want to change it from uh, read only. You just want to untick that and then apply. And it will ask if you want to apply changes to this folder, subfolders, and files. You want to select that option, then click OK. And then once you've done that, your user should be accessible. Then you want to go back here if you haven't already, uh, just copy your files over. All right, all of them except for the users. So then you should be able to switch users and then you'll have all of your stuff on here. So yeah, um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, uh, consider maybe leaving a like, subscribe. If it doesn't work, I would like to know in the comments below. So yeah. Thanks for watching, get those cocks turned in, and I'll see you later.